Hello, Washaya Wellness Warriors. Welcome back to Becoming Serenity, the podcast. Even if this is the first time you've come into contact with any of my content, I'm sure that we've met in the sea cosmos at some point, so it's nice to meet you again. I'm Lauren, and I'm your favourite sound healing siren, luxury doula, and universal light language translator for the ocean goddess, Yamea. I'm also the mermaid CEO of Washea, a luxury spiritual wellness brand that embodies water, breath, and sound in a seamless signature healing modality called Serenity. Whether you're here because you're seeking spine-tingling audios for your projects, wanting a gentle and blissful birthing experience, or you're wanting to honour the memory of tiny fingers and toes that are now twinkling in the sky, I welcome you with an open heart and open arms. I invite you to do what you need in order to feel safe and at ease. In today's episode, I'll be talking about how Washea came to be, the birth of Washea. The moment that I captured the Washea name and core elements was so spontaneous, but right now I'm seeing it as a divine nudge or my intuition giving me the strongest full body yes of my life. The day that all happened, I remember that I was done running errands and then I decided to treat myself to a much needed spiritual bath. As I ran the bath, I was able to sink into the meditation space I had created in my mind. As I immersed my senses in the water, I was releasing stagnant energy in my throat and this was where I emptied my head of all my thoughts and that was the moment where the brainstorming began for Washea. The name came to me first as I was using my linguistic brain to combine sounds that feel powerful to me. When I hear certain sounds in specific combinations or patterns, my body has a physical reaction to those sounds. The result of my brand name Washea is because of the intense goosebumps and inner calm that I felt after I sounded it out. I was breathing and just playing around with the name during this meditation experience. I did this by saying it multiple times to see if it felt more fitting with the stress or emphasis on different parts of the word. So then this was where I began to integrate and try out the intentional use of my brand name as a means of energetically clearing and resetting my space and my physical and emotional body. Washea, washea, washea. If you experience any of my light language audios or subliminal sirenscapes, you will hear the cleansing checkpoints that have been strategically placed in them. For me, this has always been something that I can do on the go to manage my energy, mood and my personal interactions with the world. It has now become something that serves as an emotional body check-in. I'm able to see where I need to spend more time loving myself or speaking to myself with a gentler, more forgiving and positive tone. As the meditation practice developed, I began to piece the desires together. I wanted to be working with water, Sound comes naturally to me and I'm passionate about music and I felt so blissfully aware of how good I felt when I was going with this idea that breath had to be a part of this new journey. When I came out of that literal sound bath, I was floating because at this point, things started to feel exciting again. After years of me feeling numb, confused, chronically burnt out from all the overwhelm, of deciding what to go with next or where to focus my energy, I felt like I'd found my home. After being rejected over and over, 
I decided that I was going to put myself first once and for all. For an added bit of context, I was diagnosed with PCOS at 19 and I'm 27 now and battling with my body has been a journey to say the least. I also struggle with infertility and loss. Without getting too much into it, I have had enough lived experience to know how care and approaches in the birthing space need to improve. There is so much that I'm unhappy with concerning my own lived experiences that birthing this business has essentially given me the outlet that I needed to turn my pain into powerful moments of reflection and to support other women who want better for their care, their children and their mental health. I'm creating the resources I wish I had when I needed them the most. And I'm also using this business as an archive for all the resources that I'll tap into as and when I need them. I didn't want to set up a business I wasn't passionate about because in my eyes, it would make it so much harder to get up and talk about what I've created and how I've made it available to help those who resonate with what I have to offer. I'm so excited for what's ahead for the next few months, the next couple of years, and I'm bringing you along to ride the waves of transformation with me. If you want to spend more time with me, I invite you to follow my business socials at Washea Official on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.